and welcome to our next tutorial. We are going to show you today how to make a chair lift. So here's an example of one we've made earlier and as you can see sitting in our chair lift is our famous Lego person called Richard. So if you move the, this is a pulley system here, if you move the pulley at the top have a look at what happens to the chair lift. So that's all happening Oh, that's slipped off that pulley there because it's not tight enough. But what's causing that to move is the friction of the string moving over the pulley. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're going to have a go at making one of those really, really quickly. So to make one, what you're going to need, let me just move our, there we go, let's move that there. There we go. So to make one of these you're going to need some cardboard, some skewers, wooden skewers, here we go, some string and two pulleys. Now we've got these specialist pulleys here, they look like wheels but there's a big groove in the middle and that will stop the string from falling off. As you can see with this one the string did keep falling off so you could use instead a reel like this that you can find on um, some used ribbon you might get that Christmas time if you use ribbon or twine you might have an old uh, cotton reel that you could use or if you've got none of those you can make a pulley out of cardboard by cutting a circle and creating a sandwich with a small circle in the middle. That's how you can make a homemade pulley. So first things first we need to make a base. So for the base I'm just going to measure a rectangle that's as long as possible. So I'm going to make the rectangle the length of a piece of cardboard. So I'm using a ruler and a pencil and I'm just drawing along the groove in the cardboard and then I'm going to cut it with a craft knife but only use a craft knife if you've had training or you've been supervised by an adult so here's the base cut it through that cardboard about three times once, twice, three times so there's the base next thing you need to make is you need to make a structure to hold your pulley up at the top and at the bottom because this is a chair lift like you'd find at a ski slope i've made the one at the bottom smaller than the one at the top so now what you need to do and as you can see i've, I've used it's not a, a complete rectangle it's smaller at the top and larger at the bottom so if you cut it out if you measure the shape that you want so I'm just making a mark how tall I want it. So I'm going to make this one 25 centimetres tall. I'm going to measure a line across, like so. And I'm going to measure how wide I want it. So the width on this one is 70. So if I make a mark, here, I'm going to make this one 60 actually. So if I make a mark at 6 and another mark at 6, so 6 and 6, draw a line up. I've got myself two rectangles there. For the back frame. Okay, and all I need to do now is measure how far in at the top I want to bring it in. So if I measure from each side 15mm in, I know it's accurate. Okay, but if I'm really honest with you, I didn't measure that one. But keep that between you and me, eh? Mm. Don't tell anybody. Okay, so as an engineer and as a scientist, it's really important that what you do is explore and experiment with ideas. So sometimes you may 
do a quick model that's a sketch model that's not been as well measured as you hope just to give you an idea and work out what needs to go where so once you've measured and marked them out cut them and I'm going to try and do this quite quickly so we've got lots of time okay so you want two at the back and then at the front you want the same shape but smaller so I'm going to do something to speed this process up a little bit because I've had a long day tinkering hmm. there we go and here so you've got two shapes they're going to go at the bottom oh I've missed the line bad apologies That looks a bit odd. Okay, you've got two shapes for the back. Should be identical if I've measured them correctly. They are. And then two shorter ones for the, the base. So to make the two shorter ones, I'm just going to get rid of my rubbish. Use this spare card and use this to trace around. There you have it. There's one. Mark this one this way. There's two. Take your craft knife or scissors to cut once, twice, three times. Once, twice, three times. And here we go on this line once, twice, three times and you should have then two small shapes for the front so two for the front and two for the back and because the back shape is so tall as you can see I've created reinforcements there using simple triangles so now what you want to do is put the two shapes together take the end of a skewer Find the centre at the top and pierce a hole through both. There we go, just like so. Making sure that the sharp end of the skewer is pointing down and it's not near your hand. So the skewer goes through there and you need to just make sure it's as wide as you want it. So how wide do you want the base? Make sure you leave enough skewer either side so you can physically turn it. Then take your scissors, open them wide, small dent into the, the wood and snap that away from your eyes. There we go, same the other side, snap, there we go, and there you have it. So that's the back, and then you need the same at the front but before we glue those we need the same at the front we use the end of that skewer now we've used Richard on this chairlift we might use someone else on the next one we might get another character so we need to measure another skewer for the bottom. Uh, let's make it a little bit. Ooh. There we go. And let's. There we go. Trim that. That's the same. Now, before we stick them down here what we need to do is stick the pulley onto the skewer so to attach the pulley to the skewer we need the pulley to sit on the middle and as you can see at the moment that pulley is going to spin so move the pulley to the side put a blob of hot glue in the middle like so big blob oh, give it a little wiggle place that down safely don't touch the hot glue with your finger move the pulley over the glue and twist it so that the glue sits in that hole. 
and make sure that pulley is nice and straight and then leave it to dry. Do the same on the other one. Pull it onto the skewer, blob of glue, pull the pulley over the blob of glue, give it a little swirl and let that dry. Okay, so then you can take the pulley, place it through the cardboard, the right way, just check that's the right way. And then you're going to stick the cardboard to the base. So uh, put some glue on the bottom of the one frame. So a little bit of glue there. Making sure your fingers are nowhere near the glue. Really careful. And place that straight. So use the line in the corrugated card to make it straight. There's one. Just check it still turns, absolutely. Now if you hold it straight, it should, because it's corrugated card, it should sit straight. But if you feel you want to add strength, just add some triangles to the bottom to stop it from wobbling. So what you're doing here is you're creating a structure. So do the same with the longer ones, making sure the shapes are in the right direction. And then again, glue at the bottom. Here we go. Okay, and here it goes. So let's try and line that up. Now, if I'd have planned this a little bit better, what I could have done is used a ruler and measured a line to make sure they both line up. So you can see this one is not as strong, okay, because it's got a little bit more weight to hold because it's longer. So I am going to cut some triangles using the corner of the card to reinforce that. So I'm going to cut two triangles out. One, two, three. There's one triangle. Another one. One, two, three. And there we go. Now I need some, another glue stick in my glue bit. Here it goes. There we go. So let's place that here. There we go. Like so. Same the other side. Then all we need to do now is add the lift. So you now need to measure a piece of string that is long enough to wrap around this pulley and this pulley. So before you decide to cut your string, just make sure it's long enough. And then trim your string at the end. I'm leaving a little bit extra so I can add it to a chair that I can make separately. So now you need to tie a knot. And it's really important now that that knot is double and it's tied, so it's tight enough to allow enough friction to allow that pulley to move this one. Then trim the shorter part of your string scissors are a little bit blunt and then you should have a piece of string hanging that's where we can add afterwards a little chair and I've made that little chair just using cardboard I've created a simple net and put a little bar in there using a skewer so if I test this now if it works let's have a look so I should now be able to turn this and look there you have it so that is how you make a chair lift. So this is a pulley mechanism. So when I turn this pulley, it pulls this material using something we call friction. Now friction, we need friction when we're making mechanisms. Sometimes we need it, sometimes we don't. So sometimes we say friction is our best friend and sometimes we say friction is our worst enemy. So. There we go, hope you enjoy it.
please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and please share your creations with us. Thank you for listening. Have fun.